Well, season's greetings and welcome to Christmas Racing Rewind. I'm Paddy Power and Ruby Walsh is here on my left and we've been joined by Paul Carberry who's going to indulge us with some of his memories of his great wins over the busy festive period. Paul, the first one we want to look at is, I think it's one of my favourites of, uh, of the many winners you've ridden over the time. It was the Christmas hurdle at Kempton uh, with Rooster Booster. Went and he nearly lapped you. <laughs> but you're riding the odds on favourite Archibald, the horse that has to be held up. Yeah. Um, please tell me you were a bit worried at some stage in this race. <laughs> um, I wasn't actually because I knew the speed he'd gone to the start, he had to stop. He went, went so fast early on. And so I would say the faster you go to start, the slower you go to finish. So, like, I did think he'd stop a bit earlier, but uh, it took him a while to, yeah. to start slowing down. But anyway. You see him there, like that's Richard Johnson, is it? Richard Johnson. Yeah. yeah. So was that a mistake by him then, he or it's just he like was he, trying to he, beat he you? He didn't. He, I, don't, I don't know if he changed his mind at the start and just went. Nothing, yeah. nothing happening there, so I'll go because there was no real talk from jumping out to make it. Yeah. Then he just jumped out and gone. And would at the start, do, you, do the jockeys normally talk and find out who's going to make yeah, it? Yeah, usually they'd be someone said, "Oh, I'll make it, I'll make it," or yeah. But there wasn't much chat, and he just. I think he was going to drop in, and then bang, he was out the gate, gone. This was the old Kempton as well, Paddy. Yeah. Um, you might have noticed, come by the stands, you'll definitely notice the next time, there's no all-weather track. Yeah. Right, so okay, actually, course, yeah. this was a tighter track than the one you're on now. Which means it's easier for the front runner. Yeah. I mean, the jump track now is out where the old flat track used to be. Um, so, he was more of a, even more of a front runner's track then. Mm. But, like, he properly committed him, didn't he? <laughs> like, he did. He was gone, gone, like, you know. But uh, and he sure he got the all by you, didn't he? But uh, you're miles back. Somebody you're hoping somebody else goes after. Well, I, I on Archibald, I can't follow him anyway. So there's there's no question about going going yeah. after him. I have to wait for somebody else to get me as close enough to. Because him. you can't have that much gap. Or no. the, yeah, exactly. No, yeah. he'd, he'd be you like, make up your own run, your own ground or whatever. Carry me a bit of the way to him anyway, because yeah, I mean look at that. It was a bit like the peloton in a yeah. in a cycling race, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Who's going to chase him? Who's going to be I, the one to follow? If I committed and chased him there, he would have stopped. Yeah. So, and that's you happen? in second last, basically, with the nose yeah. pound, yeah. He wasn't losing it in any hurdles. He was not. Oh. Like, it looked like it was an inspired bit of race riding by Johnson for much of the race. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, and you're saying, at this stage, are you saying, come on, somebody go after him? Well, I was just saying, you have to stop when you're going to start well, yeah, when you're going to start stowing, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a decision you make, isn't it? Yeah. Like, it's as simple as this. I can't run him down, he has yeah. to stop. Yeah. yeah. So stick to my guns and yeah. pray, hope. Yeah, yeah that's, that's kind of the, um, one of the things I've learned about you is that it seems that you do, when you make your mind up, like, like you'll live or die by it. You know what I mean? Just yeah. that's, that's sort of, you make a decision. Any yeah. decision will do, just make a decision. Like, yeah, yeah. And like, you still... It's quickening. Um, There's not much happening in the race. Well, you're happy. You have to be skipping a beat here this day, so. You're I'm turning in now. We see how far he's in front of you. Yeah. You better start moving. <laughs> but he just started to stop the minute I started to move as well. I can see yeah, just there now. It's yeah, amazing how quick you make this ground did, up, isn't it? And when he did that, I said, right, I have him. And were you worried about something coming from behind you? No. <laughs> <laughs> But look at this, I mean, now you've made up a huge, you've, you've yeah. halved the gap there. The second last. But now you're, you're home yeah. now, aren't you? He's eaten up now. Yes. Yeah. I nearly feel sorry for him, <laughs> watching him back. Yeah. But uh, it looks inevitable. But then you've got to still go on and do it, but you know you've loads of horse. Yeah. And then you can go back and win on the bridle. And that's where I'm on about earlier on. Um, but when you don't do much at the start of the first two furlongs, he'll have more at the end. Yeah. Christmas yeah, I think it's a really interesting uh, way to describe it yeah. uh, when you said that. Like, so if he doesn't quite get two miles, yeah, you're right. So you got to save, you got to get that saving somewhere. Yeah, yeah. If you heard the race over to a mile six, it would be hard to beat. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, that was something else to watch. Well, what a fascinating race to watch. So only a couple of days later, home from Kempton, out to Leopardstown. It's uh, the Lexus. I don't, I'm not sure if it was called the Lexus back then. Was it? it was a Lexus, yeah. It was a Lexus, yeah. And uh, you're on beef for salmon, but best mates after coming over. Yeah. And best mates coming over is the, the hot favourite. You're on beef for salmon, the second favourite. Looks like a match. Uh, beef for salmon's home turf. Best. He's always brilliant around Leopardstown. Yeah. If oh. there's ever a chance of beating best mate, Today was this day. is it. Yeah. 
And did everything go to plan? It did. Um, I had actually rode earlier and I seen Jim Colotti walking the chase crack, so I knew he knew he know where the best ground is. So, so I actually followed him most of the way, um, and just watched it's the same again. Jump the third last and this lad and just go and he just flies and picks up and picks up. He loves Leperson. I think he was niggling a bit there earlier on, but the minute he gets later on the race, he's very good. But would best mate have been, well, obviously he's a triple gold cup winner, but would he have been the best that he would have come up against in yeah, this race? Definitely, like, so this yeah. is a, really, this is a proper this test. This is a proper one. test for him, yeah. yeah. The other ones. And he jumped real well this day. It was... And do you have an eye on him? Or are you just looking out for Oh, I have an eye on him, yeah. No, I'm keeping an eye on him on yeah. this day. And kind of thought he wasn't going as well to the third last. I said, right, I put pressure on you now and try yeah. and get a, get, a, get a run in you. And that's important if you can get, get the first run, as they yeah. call it. Like, yeah. It's just an extra couple of lengths they have to make exactly, up somewhere. Yeah. Like, yeah. Steal, steal a bit. Why did you think you would get first run and best mate? I mean, he had a couple of gold cups, won three and a quarter miles. Just the way B for Salmon is in Leperstown. He's always very good from the third last to the, to the line, to the, to the last even. And Beefer Salmon, the Just four in line, and a great jump by Beefer Salmon. Jumps right up on the outside on the pole. And now, you press it go. Easy. And he goes away. And your man still seems to be going okay, but you reckon he's. That's his. He gets yeah. going now. He just seems to always fly down the hill. Second last. And B for Salmon lands in the lead. Yeah. Paul Carberry has a look round and sees Jim Colony now at work as Rule Supreme makes ground on the outside. He just outside. flies in there. Jeez, he really did. <laughs> he did, yeah. did open up, didn't he? Like, yeah. But that's what you're expecting. Yeah, that's the way. And he'll see it out. Although, um, what's the Mullins horse? Rule Supreme. Rule, Rule Supreme, Supreme came. Yeah. Barry, is it? Barry, yeah. Coming up, B for Salmon comes to the last. Well this well and now, this moment, <laughs> the reason we're watching this race. <laughs> well, well, talk us through this. I mean, like, we start, just, first of all, you didn't do it now until you knew, made, right, right, until had, you yeah, for yeah. sure. You don't want to be made a total fool of. But then you turn around and you have a look. Thank God you didn't fall off <laughs> and balance yourself. I just had a look in the screen, so okay. I knew he was bad behind me, so I just did that. Was it a wave or a beckon? A wave. In front of a beckon. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it was a bit of crack. Like, it was, a lot was made of it. It was yeah, kind of yeah. seen as, like, you know, arrogant and controversial <laughs> and, it's, and whatever. It was just a, I, just a spur of the thing. I would yeah. have a bit of crack for a yeah. bit of laugh. Just. But, like, was there any niggle with quality over no, there? No, no, no. No, it was just, just, just for the, yeah. but, uh, for the banter. So it's just a, a moment of brain fart, basically. <laughs> just, do you know what I'll do now? Yeah. Yeah, at, least you, at least you didn't give him the fingers or anything, no, you know. Exactly. <laughs> but, and did you expect it to be controversial at all? Or, and did you get in trouble for it? Um, a small bit. A uh, couple of people complained, but they called me in and here they, they said, here, look, they knew there was no... Bad blood argument. Bad blood yeah. about it. There was only a bit of crack, so it was... Yeah. yeah. They should even wonder, like, the stewards having you in. They for only what? did yeah, it because they were... They bringing get, they bringing racing into disrepute yeah, or something. Yeah, just had to be shown to do something, but so... Yeah. Um, did you ever do anything like that, Ruby? I couldn't even wave to the crowd now I was retired. Did you see that feeble effort? Um, <laughs> no, I didn't, but... when you Did you see that and you go like, oh, that was cheeky, or just laugh or have a little I chuckle? I just laugh because yeah. I knew who was doing it and why he was doing it. Um, yeah. I just laughed. Because um, there, no, there was no, like, kind of, like, scene set whereby the British media were kind of being insulted. Do you know what I mean? It wasn't like, there was nothing, no kind of... Preamble to it, sure there wasn't. It was just a thing. Yeah, just a, just a moment. Yeah. Well, here we are. Twenty years later, we're still talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> so next one we're going to look at. Uh, I'm guessing is a very fond memory for you. It's Monbeg Dude and Welsh <laughs> National again. This is another crazy, crazy race. Uh, when you watch back, there you are at the very back. Yeah. And I'm. I'm. This is the first time you've ridden the horse. First time I rode him. Yeah. So how do you know the tactics and the plan? And Tom Scudamore here and Michael's son, Michael's brother. Yeah. Um, He'd ridden him and he'd ride some, another horse for Pipey. Um, he used to drop him out last and just ride him patiently. And that was music to my ears. I loved Yeah, I loved that. <laughs> I love so I'm allowed to do that then. That's great. <laughs> um, <laughs> and did the owners know? Yeah, this was the plan. They, this, they, is, this is Mike Tyndall, the rugby, Mike rugby Tindall, player. I think, was, I think it was Mike that rang me up to, to ride him. Rang me the week before. Would you be interested in riding um, such and such a horse in the Welsh National? I said, yeah. yeah. And then thought about it. And 
Um, there wasn't much. Were you giving up stuff in Leopardstown then? Or? I think it was after being. It was, it was delayed, wasn't it? It was delayed, it was moved it was, on. It was so postponed, like Saturday, remember. yeah. So there wasn't much on for us. Um, so I said, yeah, I looked, I hadn't ridden it before really, so I'd love yeah. to go out and have a try in a minute. <laughs> yeah. So again, the type of race that's ideal for you, you're allowed to do what you do. We can fast forward through the race now, there's like four miles in it, so it'll take yeah. forever. But uh, basically, the story of the race is you stayed last and you were miles back, <laughs> right? And, uh, but you say that's the story of the race, yet I rode in a good few Welsh Nationals, but very few winners came from where Mon Bay Dude is now. Yeah. Most of the winners tend to be in the race, jumping before the descent to turn in. Yeah. I mean, we were even having this conversation before we went out, I think. You yeah. know, how hard it is to get into the race yeah. from the back. <laughs> Your man just sitting there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it, yeah? <laughs> but uh, funny, because I, I do remember like that, that the horse, it, it, weirdly, horses seem to get outpaced uh, early in the race, and, the, and they, they tend to stay, stay on, yeah. They stay there, yeah. This, time was, this time was going easy the whole way, but the first time I turned into the straight, the first time, I pulled him out a bit, there was a bit of nicer ground, and he came on the bride like that. I said, whoa, grand. Pull them back in. Yeah. Says, I'll I'll do keep that, that for time, later. Yeah. Yeah. Save that for later. We we'll keep that for the next time round. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, and that's what happened. He pulled out and that, and he just came alive. Yeah. But he travelled well. He didn't jump like he rubbed a good few fences. But he's like a typical Irish point to point, who just getting away with it. He knew he was just doing. He knew what thing. he could do. So he yeah. wasn't actually that bad of a jump. I thought he he jumped quick enough, but he did land the back of a few. Rubbed them. Is that what you you call yeah. rub rub <laughs> yeah, rub the couple? Him. Yeah. But he knew he'd get away with it. He did. But uh, so throughout the race, everything's going as yeah, everything's it's going. just grand. Like yeah. the horses going. But then, out. so did it probably just two down the back uh, off the back. He rubbed them fairly hard. I said, "Oh, you have to stop doing it because you're going to lose your chances." So and he jumped the next few a bit better. And how can, can you if, uh, impact how he jumps them? Can you ask him for one or what? Like no, that's what I was told not to ask him. So you just have to sit and help him, but yeah. and just help him be fluent over him there. Yeah, he yeah. does the same at the next, and then. And had you ridden at Chepstow before? Yeah, I had. Oh, when I was in England, I used to ride there. So okay, so you knew the track anyway. Yeah. Like, it wasn't even coming to the shot. What would you be doing in the shot? Sure, I mean, does the camera <laughs> need to see you? Like, yeah. no. Nah. <laughs> and tell us, uh, is that important that you know a track? Like, would you get found out if you came to Leprosy for the first time or whatever? Ah, thought it helps. Like at the time I rode Archibald in the Christmas hurdle, no one sent me over because I thought I rode there before, but I hadn't. <laughs> and I went up to the stands and looked at it and looked around and said, "Grant, that's what I'm doing. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't bother walking the track in no. Leprechaun because Colour had done it. So you just exactly. followed him. He's yeah. after doing the work. That's grand. Yeah. What are you on in this race, Ruby? Do you remember? I can't remember. I think I was in uh, Graham Rogers' colours that gone out and shot a long time ago. Yeah. Over there, somewhere, Paddy. Yeah. Top of the shot. <laughs> okay. Um, but look, look, the man, big dude, wide left. Yeah. Now, there I am turning in. Um, Why are you coming so wide? The ground. Oh, the ground. The ground. Yes, you said that, yeah, yeah. But you don't fly these four fences either, do you? Five. Five, is there? Five. Freaking I'd say five. the owner. Can you imagine the owners, like, after being out the back and suddenly you're going, oh, oh, God. I'm well, now, hang on. Placed. We're going to be hang placed. On now. If you're an owner and you're told, you tell <laughs> Paul Carberry, who's, oh, oh yeah, it's a great jump. He bro- <laughs> rubbed it. That's what you call rubbing it, yeah? <laughs> um, you tell the fella who's going to arrive late, to arrive late. Yeah. Like you're just giving them a green card to yeah. <laughs> be in the next parish like. Yeah. <laughs> so now you must be getting you yeah, look look it looks now. Now if now if you're the owner you're going, ah, Jesus, yeah. this That's fella's a genius. Got yeah. This yeah. is fella's a genius, yeah. Um, what happens here? Oh uh, that was fine. That's pretty low, was it? Uh, yeah. Wait to see but this definitely one. Me not that not to ask one. I said, oh, yeah. I have to go. Yeah. So you Desperately trying not to ask him. We're trying mm. to hold on to him, and, and you know, lovely stride there. I couldn't yeah. not go. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, beautiful. <laughs> there you go. And he, he still found enough, did he? Yeah. That was three for three on the inside, was it? Yeah. What's that horse like? I'm coming, Anthony. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. You went too quick. And he even <laughs> changed the whip as well to make sure he didn't get pulled yeah. in the Stewarts. <laughs> well done. That was a special one. Yeah, it was a special one. A bit of crack after you stay over, or did you go? No, we came back. Um, and four of us was with myself, Katie, yeah. three or four of us. Three or four of us, yeah. Yeah, yeah we did. Bristol, we did. I think we came home from. We need to get out of there quickly enough. Yeah, and was there any, like, it's a, when there's, okay, it's a big day, and, and that one happened in January, like you said, so it wasn't in the middle of the race and seat, raising festival or whatever. Like, do you go for a pint in the airport, or do you just, are you yeah, leaving? You, you yeah, arrive we and, and planes are about to take off and yeah, time to get there. Uh, and there's probably only one flight out of that part of England. Yeah. 
So we were struggling to get that flight from Bristol, Ryanair, I'm assuming. Um, but I always um, think that's weird because I imagine that like that you just ride a big race winner, but you got to get your flight. So there's no, yeah, it's, it's barely, you're barely way out, and you're gone. I'd say no. Paul probably got the presentation, and the rest of us might have had the car out. Yeah, of the car park. We were, yeah, we really, were, yeah, yeah. Into the higher we didn't car, have airport. time for presentation. <laughs> yeah. She said, "Why did you wait last night to wait?" <laughs> Don't endorse it. That's just the way it was. Yeah. Well, a AP was delighted I came over to ride him. I'd say he was. Chuck, yeah. <laughs> Any crack out of AP there? Is he just, he'd be sick. I mean, <laughs> if anyone's competitive, he's the man who'd be the sickest for finish second. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, there you go. That's Tom Scudamore yeah, then. Yeah, amazing, obviously, because yeah. it's his bro, bro's horse. Oh, very good. Very festive. Right, well, listen, thank you very much. And no gentlemen, let me both have a very happy Christmas Cheers, and enjoy thanks. the festivals. And uh, we shall see you soon. Thanks very much for watching, everybody. Happy Christmas to all.